Today, we are learning about Daniel, the foe, and this is my challenge to try to draw his outline in one go. Okay, I might have just went outside of the challenge, but right now that's what's going to happen outside of the challengers. Anyways, let's get started with today's episode of... Daniel, the foe, and we're back to the white screen. Yuri. Anyways, let's get started. Yeah. Okay. So that is it for t for right now, and let's get started on today's episode of Dino the Phone. My name is Sean, your host, and let's get on with it. Loud of so cold, like swallowing ice that's not chewed. <clears throat> we probably know what all we probably all know what that feels like. <clears throat> Anyways, let's talk about Daniel the Phone here. Daniel Defoe is an awesome guy. He was born. He was born in September thirteenth of sixteen sixty, of sixteen sixty, and he was basically a good guy. He listened to everything his parents said, and he all he was like, "Yeah, I gotta listen to um, what my old parents say, even if if even if they die." And then, no, he did not do that. No, he did not do that. Instead. Instead, he did this. I'm not gonna listen to him. For, well, that was before that, but until now, this is what he did. I'm gonna go study as a minister. And he started getting into a lot of these politics things, and he's like, this is boring. This is boring. I'm gonna get out of this. I'm gonna get out of this. And so he went out of the minister's trade, and then that's how he became... A traitor! And he's like, ooh... Ooh, let me go become a merchant. And so he went abroad and started selling items, and then he brought back some profit, and he's like, Yippee! Dollar, 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 dollar. And that's how it seemed to happen. Until that all of his trading skills went bummers. Went bummer. Went to be a bummer. Because of that... Well, because of that, he went stock crashing. He lived through up, 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 and then he crashed suddenly. And then he suddenly crashed. Whoa, what the heck just happened? That's what his profits were like. Like, up and down, up and down, up and down, up. Not like this, except for that last bit, except for this last bit. But other than that, everything was pretty accurate. After his, well, trader and merchant business didn't go so well until he declared bankruptcy, he decided to become a writer. And it's like very, 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 very encouraging when he was like writing with the pen, cool and pen. One second, let me try to draw that. Yep, that should do it. Right. Okay, let me try to redraw that. Okay, I eventually found a good way of a good hand. Right. Right dad, 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 right
write that, write that, write that, and then write this, and write that, and write that, and write that, and write that. This is what basically that was. And after he went into all of this business stuff, whoa, what the heck just happened here? No, 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 you are out. After that, he still wanted to write. And then he decided that he would write about things, like political things. Which actually, which, like this um, union thingy, he wrote about it. He wrote about it in his pamphlet. And that, well, landed him in jail. And then that's what he's like, like, let me out! Yeah! And as I mentioned, that's what landed him in prison, unfortunately. Uh, but however, he was eventually released. He was eventually released. And that got him into some of his popularity days. That got him into his popularity days. Then he wrote this. Right there, right there, right there, right there, right there, and the result was... Yep, that was all he needed. And then he started writing pamphlets, and that got him a trip, that got him a trip to this place that got him into this. I think you might know this place, like, uh, this little machine. Well, basically, they put you in that. They basically put you in that, and the people that are like, throw some rotten stuff. Throw some rotten stuff. But in Defoe's case, instead of throwing rotten stuff, they're like, free him, free him. And they were eventually forced to free him. And while he was like, in that place, they were like, drunk in his honor, and they did not throw things at him. They were like, yeah, let's read his pamphlet. It was very popular back then, so he was eventually released. And then after that, he wrote, he wrote one of the best novels ever, and the first English literature novel ever, Daniel Defoe's Robinson Crusoe. Now this is a tale about a guy named Robinson Crusoe, who was like, yeah, I'm not going to listen to my parents, I'm not going to listen to my parents, and then just goes on a sea voyage all the way around the world. Wee, like, yippee! And then the ship... Who's on like ah? Who's like ah? And that's what landed him into trouble. And that's what landed him into trouble. Eventually, in this ship, he was able to survive with some other survivors. But on his uh, like other voyage, he's like ah, survive. While the others are like. Ooh, uh. ooh! Uh. He was the only sole survivor. He was the sole survivor, and there was some land nearby. Come on, why can't you draw? Just let me draw an island. He's like right there, and then he finds a cave, and then he decides to live into that cave, and uses that as shelter. Then he decides to actually create his own little mini empire. He sets up. He set up a goat pen. He set up a goat pen. Me. He sets up a place for the crops. For crops, for his food. He finds a way to turn that crops into what we call now bread. And that's all that's right here. That's about Robinson Crusoe. And eventually, he saves a person called Friday from being eaten by cannibals by his own tribe. And then after that, they have a lot more adventures. They have a lot more adventures. And they defeat the cannibals. Ah, and save a Spaniard and Friday's father. Friday's father. After that, Robinson escapes with Friday. 
and the other European. Eventually, he comes along later with Friday's father. And after that, they come to the island and colonize it. When Robinson Crusoe comes back there, he's like, hmm, donate. Yippee, my island. And that's about all it gets. And also, nowadays, the island, that's this guy, that uh, guy who seemed to have asked to be to be marooned there, which the Chilean government and everyone else in the world believe was here, decided to call this place Robinson Crusoe Island to capitalize on tourism. At least the Chileans have the Robinson Crusoe Island. And then he wrote two sequels. He wrote two sequels. And they were called The Further Adventures of Robinson Crusoe and Serious Reflections of Robinson Crusoe. And these are mainly land based now. And so now that that's over, he died. Also, those two books, sequels, weren't as successful, I have to say. And then he died on April 24th of 1731. What a bummer. This is the end of this episode. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode because today I hope you learned something new about Daniel Defoe. Learn something new with my more of my own videos. Actually, I could draw it a bit better. Bumba bada 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 bumba bada bada bada. Subscribe, subscribe, like, uh, like, uh, like, uh, ring bell button, ring bell button, ring bell button. Share this episode, share this episode, share this episode. Dun 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 dun